uh, if an object moves in a straight line, then it is rectilinear motion. Or we can say it is translatory motion or object is moving in a straight line. Uniform motion is if an object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time, however small those intervals may be, and it is said to be in uniform motion. For example, in this case, you can see that uh, this bus, you know, this bus has covered 10 meter of distance in one second. And in the next one second, again, it has covered a distance of 10 meter. Next one second, again, 10 meter. So every time you can see this bus is covering a distance of 10 meter in one second. So what is the speed? If I want to find the speed in this particular interval, the first interval, then what will be the speed? How do we find speed? It's distance upon time. So we'll simply divide this 10 meter and one second. So on dividing this, you'll get 10 meter per second is the speed of the bus. And what if I find speed from this section, the second interval? Again, we'll get the same speed, 10 meter per second from the third section. Speed is still the same. So every time we are getting the same speed. So when the object covers equal distance in equal time, then it moves with constant speed. You can write the keywords. Okay. So if the object covers equal distance in equal intervals of time, then the object is moving with constant speed. So in uniform motion, object moves with constant speed and no force is required for an object in uniform motion. See, when we apply force on an object, then its speed may, may or may not change. Its direction may or may not change, right? And uh, if it is moving, it may come to rest. If it is at rest, it may start moving. So for an object to move with constant speed, if there are no external, no, uh, you know, forces like frictional forces, air resistance acting on the object, Okay, if there are no resistive forces, we say resistive forces means which resist the flow of motion, which resist the motion of an object. Okay, which do not, uh, resistive forces are those which do not allow the object to move. For example, when we kick a ball, it stops after some time. Why does the ball stop after some time? Because of friction. Because there is frictional force, the so ball stops. Okay, but if there are no frictional forces, if there are no resistive forces, then we do not require force to move an object. If the object is moving with constant speed, it will move continually with the same speed. Its speed will not change. Sorry, uh, will not change or um, change ne yoga because it is moving. There are no external forces that on it. Okay, the object moves with constant speed in uniform motion and distance time graph. If you plot the distance time graph for an object in, which is moving in uniform motion, then it is a straight line. It is inclined like this. Here we take time, here we take distance. It is inclined like this for uniform motion. This is how we get the graph. So in this graph, you can observe that in the first, you know, in the first time interval, first minute, one minute, we have time in minutes here and distance in meter. So uh, in one minute, object has covered a distance of 10 meters. In another one minute, again, it has covered a distance of 10 meter. Look at the cursor, this, this 10 meter it has covered. In one, one more minute, third minute, it has covered a distance of 10 meter again. So every time object is covering a distance of 10 meter in one minute. So its speed is 10 meters, 10 meter per minute, not second this time. We will write 10 meter per minute. Okay. So uh, non-uniform motion is the one where object covers unequal distance in equal intervals of time or it covers equal distance in unequal intervals of time, however small. Uh, if the object is covering unequal distance in unequal time, then we find the fraction. Okay, so that variable. Variable means changing. Every time we get the different value. So the object moves with variable speed in uniform, non-uniform motion. The velocity, the speed of the object is changing in non-uniform motion. And distance time graph for a non-uniform motion is like this. We got a curved line here. So sometimes object cover less distance. Sometimes it covers more distance in less time. So speed is changing. So if the object covers more distance in less time, means it is moving faster. Yes, because it is covering more distance in less time. But if the object covers less distance in more time, then it is moving slower because time is more or distance come travel, so its speed is less. Speed kya hoti hai? Rate at which an object cover a distance. Hai? So speed is a scalar quantity. 
and it is the total distance covered upon total time taken. This is how we find speed. It is a scalar quantity means we here we have only magnitude. We are not considering direction here. But on the other hand, velocity is the rate at which an object changes its position in a given direction. Okay, changes its position because displacement depends upon the initial and final position of the object. It is the shortest distance between the initial and final position. Shortest distance hota hai na, initial or final position ke beech mein. So, it, uh, rate at which, speed with which, rate at which an object changes its position in a given direction. So, velocity is a vector quantity and we can write velocity as displacement upon time. Table. So, these are the formulas. For speed, we have distance upon time and for velocity, we have displacement upon time. Speed is a scalar quantity. On the other hand, velocity is a vector quantity. So, let's take an example. So, this is the initial position. Your home is your initial position and you go to MACD. MACD is your final position. Okay. So, and you come back. So, in this, you know, uh, motion, complete motion, during the total journey, what is the displacement? Displacement is zero because initial position and final position are coinciding. Okay. You were at your home and you came back to home only. So, because initial and final position are coinciding and therefore displacement is zero. So, if we take distance between the home and the McDonald's as two kilometers and total time taken, you know, during the whole journey, home to McD and back to home is one hour. Okay. So, it took one hour to reach home back. Okay. So, now we are going to find speed and velocity for this journey. So we, for this, we need to find distance and displacement first. So this is the distance traveled. Home to McD. Home to McD yes. and back to home. It's two kilometer plus two kilometer. The answer is four kilometer. Total distance covered is four kilometer. And what is the displacement? Zero. Displacement is zero. Yes, so we can find speed. Speed is distance covered upon time taken. The total time taken is one hour. Okay, so four upon one and therefore speed is four kilometers per hour. And if we find the velocity, because it is displacement upon time, so velocity is zero upon one, hence it is zero. Answer is zero. So velocity is zero, but speed is four kilometers per hour. Okay, now we have questions based on this. Speed is a dash quantity. Scalar, vector, neither scalar nor vector. Both scalar and vector. Scalar. It is a scalar quantity. Velocity is a dash quantity. Yes, it is a vector quantity. Now let's differentiate velocity and speed. So speed is the rate at which an object covers a certain distance. So distance upon time is speed. On the other hand, velocity is the change in position. Right? Rate at which an object changes its position in a certain direction is velocity. And uh, average speed will continue to count even if the object changes direction. On the other hand, velocity of the object changes with the change in direction. Therefore, the object must follow one direction. Because velocity changes with direction. If there is change in direction, then velocity will change. Okay. Speed is a scalar quantity. Velocity, on the other hand, is a vector quantity. Speed can never be negative or zero. On the other hand, velocity can be zero, negative, or positive. Okay. If the object is moving in uh, with velocity, uh, sorry, with speed 20 meter per second towards east direction, object is moving with a speed of 20 meter per second towards east direction, then what will be the velocity of the object towards west? Yes, minus 20 meter per second. Now let's uh, see how do we find average speed and average velocity. So, average speed is the measure of total distance covered in a given time and it is total distance covered upon total time taken. Okay. So, suppose an object covers a distance S1 in time T1, S2 in time T2 and total distance covered is S1, S1 plus S2. S2 and total time taken is T1 plus T2. Yes, it's T1 plus T2. Similarly, average velocity is the measure of total displacement covered in a given time. 
as speed is total distance covered in a given time in the same way velocity is total displacement covered in a given time average velocity is total displacement upon total time taken okay so uh, instantaneous speed and velocity instantaneous means at a particular instant of time at a particular point of time when we you know uh, drive the car then on speedometer we can see the speed of the car so speedometer gives the instantaneous speed of the car speed at that particular point of time okay so instantaneous speed is the measure of distance covered at every instant of time and instantaneous velocity similarly is the measure of displacement covered at every instant of time so we just we'll just replace this distance by displacement and speed by velocity when we have speed we write distance when we have velocity we write displacement because displacement is a vector quantity so is the velocity distance is a scalar quantity so is the speed okay so every speed and average velocity let's write the formula it's total distance upon to total time taken similarly for average velocity it is total displacement upon total time taken for speed average speed it is total distance upon total time taken for average velocity it is total displacement upon total time taken now how is average velocity different from instantaneous velocity how are they different average velocity is total displacement upon total time taken and instantaneous velocity is the velocity at an instant at a point of time okay so average velocity does not give any details of the motion of the particle it gives only the result of the motion and instantaneous velocity defines how fast the particle moves at a particular instant of time at a point of time at a given time the speed of object the velocity of object it tells about the velocity of object under what conditions is the magnitude of average velocity of an object equal to average speed under what conditions average velocity and average speed their magnitudes are equal hmm. we have already covered this right i guess we have done na in the when previous the class hmm? when, the when the line is straight okay if we say that when an object moves in a straight line please write this this question is important if an object moves in a straight line suppose this point is the initial position of the object a a is the initial position and b is the final position of the object and distance is d okay so ab is d ab is equal to d units we can write see when we don't know unit na when we don't know whether it is in meter or in centimeter we we write unit okay so uh distance distance in this case is ab it is equal to d and suppose uh this object takes time t to reach there okay so we can find uh, speed uh, uh, speed of the object as distance upon time total distance upon total time taken is the average speed right so average speed is total distance total distance is d and total time taken is t average speed is d upon t what is the displacement displacement is the shortest distance or straight line distance between initial and final position so when the object moves in a straight line then distance and displacement are same they are equal so average velocity is again d upon t only okay so when the object moves in a straight line write everything whatever i'm writing here in a straight line motion distance is equal to displacement this implies average speed is equal to average velocity
Joseph jogs from one end A to other end B of a straight 300 meter road. This is end A, this is end B, and it is 300 meter. And he takes two minutes and 30 seconds. In two minutes and 30 seconds, he jogs from A to B. Okay. Then turns around and jogs 100 meter back to point C. He turns around and 100 meter back to point C. He reaches C. This distance is 100 meter in another one minute. And he takes one minute. So what are Joseph's average speed and average velocities in jogging from A to B and from A to C? This is what we have to find out. So let's consider first case A to B. A to B is the straight line path, right? A to B is the straight line path. There is no turns, no nothing. So in straight line motion, in straight line path, distance and displacement are equal. So first we will write distance covered. Distance covered is equal to 300 meter. Displacement of Joseph is the same. Displacement is 300 meter. Time taken. We will convert this into seconds now. Two minutes and 30 seconds. So what, two minutes is two into 60 seconds plus 30 seconds. So what will you get? 120 plus 30, 150 seconds. Now we will find average speed first. Average speed is total distance covered divided by total time taken. Total distance covered is 300. Total time taken is 150. So average speed is 2 meter per second. Similarly, we can find average velocity. Average velocity is net displacement. Divided by time. Total time taken. So total displacement is 300. Again, time is 150. So you'll get two meter per second. So in this case, average speed and average velocity, they are equal because distance and displacement are equal. Yes. Case two. In second case, we have to find this uh, average speed and average velocity from A to C. So total distance covered from A to C is 100. C. A to C goes from A to B and then to C. So what is the distance covered? AB plus BC. This is how we'll write. AB plus BC is? Yes, 300 meter plus 100 meter. It is 400 meter. And total time taken is? Total time taken is? One minute. One minute extra, na? Two minutes and 20, 30 seconds to reach from A to B and one minute from B to C. Okay, so it's 150 second plus 60 second. Total time taken is 210 seconds. Yes, and displacement? Displacement is the distance, shortest distance between initial and final position. This is the initial position and this is the final, final position. Two. How will you find AC? C equals to AB minus 
Yes, it's AB minus BC. So 300 meter minus 100 meter is 200 meter. And time is the same, 210 seconds. We can find average velocity and average speed now. Average speed, let's find average speed first. Average speed is total distance covered. Write the formula and then put the values. Total distance covered divided by total time taken. Total distance covered is 400. Total time taken is 210. What will you get? 40 by 21. So what will you get on dividing these two? 21 ones are 21. Decimal and then you'll get 19. 190. This is like a 9 say. 21 nines are 9 ones are 9, 9 twos are 18. And 189. Then you'll get 1 and okay, nearly 1.9 we can say it's meter per second. Now we'll find the average velocity. Average velocity is total displacement or net displacement. On time, total time taken. Displacement is 200. Time is the same. It's 210 second only. Yes. What will you get? 20 by 21. So it's average velocity is 0 0.9 na? 9 and then you'll get 200 minus 189 is 110 something. So you will get 21 times 0 0.95 meter per second. Abdul, while driving to school, computes the average speed for his trip to be 20 kilometer per hour. Okay, so from driving to school. So let's take home to school. Abdul, while driving to school, while driving to school, he computes the average speed for his trip. Let's take the speed as V1 to be 20 km per hour. On his return trip, trip along the same route, there is less traffic and the average speed is 30 km per hour. So V1 and V2 are the average speeds of Abdul. What is the average speed for Abdul's trip? This is what we have to find out. So let's take the distance as S. Distance is the same because on his return trip along the same route it said. Na? So same route means distance is same. Okay. First, right, let S be the distance covered. See if the object is if this Abdul, if this Abdul is moving faster, then it will uh, see if the because uh, there is less traffic. On his return trip along the same route, there is less traffic and the average speed is 30 km per hour. While returning home, he drives faster. Okay, because he is driving faster, so he will cover the same distance in less time. Okay, so when uh, going to the school, 
while driving to the school uh he was driving with the speed of 20 km per hour for the same distance right so in this journey let time taken by the abdul be t1 and here time taken by the abdul be t2 so let t1 be the time time taken by abdul while driving to school driving to school and t2 be the time taken by him on his return to okay so what is the total distance covered by abdul total distance covered by abdul total distance covered by abdul see s distance is the distance no mm. total distance covered is s plus s because he goes to school and then he comes back so it's 2s kilometer we can say okay and how will we find t1 t1 is the time taken by abdul while driving to school so how do we find time and distance and speed are given time is distance upon speed s upon v1 we can say distance upon speed is time okay distance is s and speed is 20 okay similarly we can find time t2 t2 is the time taken by abdul on his return trip okay so t2 is the time taken by abdul on his return trip so it is the total distance upon speed again again speed is v2 so v2 is given it is 30 hai you na know? so how do we find average speed average speed is total distance covered total distance covered divided by total time taken srishti dana to abhi total distance covered is s plus s 2s and total time taken is t1 plus t2 hai right? na total time taken is t1 plus t2 and total distance covered is s plus s it is 2s so we can write for t1 t1 is s upon 20 and t2 is s upon 30 so we can write like this yes now how will we solve this now see we can write average speed equal to 2s upon now take the lcm 20 when we take the lcm of 20 and 30 we get 60 now what should be multiplied in 20 to get 60 3 20 by 3 is 60 3 has to be multiplied by the numerator s so we get 3s here and what should be multiplied in 30 to get 60 2 na so 2 has to be multiplied by s 2s okay so it is 2s sorry it is 2s upon 5s by 60 good evening or we can write 2s into 60 by 5s s s cancel ho jayega and 5 ones are 5 5 12s are 60 12 twos are 24 so average speed of abdul is 24 kilometers per
इट इज ट्वेंटी फोर किलोमीटर पर अब मिस्टेक क्या करते हैं हम जो हम ब्लंडर करके आते हैं एग्जाम में बच्चे जो गलती करते हैं वो क्या होती है दे फाइंड दे कंसिडर दीज टू एज देर ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड दे फाइंड एवरेज ऑफ दीज टू चिल्ड्रन यूजली टू दिस सेम मिस्टेक वट दे डू इज दे राइट एवरेज एज बिकॉज वी नो एवरेज इज समल ऑब्जर्वेशन डिवाइड बाई नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन सो दे सिंपली एट द बिलोसिटीज एंड डिवाइडेड बाई टू एंड गेट ट्वेंटी फाइव आंसर विच इज रॉन्ग रॉन्ग ओके ठीक है हमने ऐसे नहीं करना है बिल्कुल नहीं करना है ठीक है सो विल कंसिडर द डिस्टेंस एज एस विल फाइंड द टाइम टोटल टाइम एंड टोटल डिस्टेंस यूज दिस फॉर्मूला एवरेज स्पीड formula for every speed find total distance total time and divide them and get the average speed okay this is what we have to do 